man, y'all saw the title of, of the video, man. Today, I'm going to be giving y'all pretty much my 2K25 wish list, man. This is in my, my opinion. So, if you agree or di disagree, hey, man, drop down your thoughts down below in the comments, man. Let's get it. Now, this is the issue I've had with this 2K since it came out. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting sick of getting a different type of floater whenever I'm attacking the basket. Especially when there's a 7-foot defensive anchor in the paint. Like, that definitely does not help. I do think they're going in the right direction, though, with the gameplay. When it comes to finishing in the paint in the different ways you can. I personally think float game is one of the best finishing badges in the game. But the badge is only good when you get a good floater animation. Like, you can't tell me it's that hard to add different floater animations from people like Tony Parker or Steve Nash. Because I ain't gonna lie, them niggas was tough as hell with that floater back in the day. This definitely isn't as big of a deal as the other things on my list. But it's for sure been something that has been getting on my nerves since I started playing 2K24. Let's be honest, no one has cared about rep or reward since 2K21, and that's current gen. The amount of bullshit that has been in the season past this year is fucking crazy. Like, bro, what the fuck is this, and why does it need to be in a basketball game? I don't know, man. I just miss when rep actually meant something, man. Like, I miss when niggas really had clout if they hit legend in 2K16 or 2K20. Like, if a nigga had his shirt off in 2K16, bro, you knew that nigga was with the shits, bro. Like, let's be honest, bro. Now we have top 10, which, come on now. Who in the fuck gives a, a fuck if a nigga is top 10 in 2K24? Nobody. The biggest issue now is that certain rewards just don't mean as much as, as, as they used to. I know y'all remember in 2K20 when if a nigga had a mascot, you knew you, you had to lock the fuck in to play them. Or when a nigga was walking around with, with a backpack, you knew bro was tough as hell. Now, having mascots or a backpack or shit, I would even say not have your shirt on in 2K anymore. It just don't feel the same anymore, bro. Like, if anything, if I see a nigga wearing a backpack in 2K now, I'm frying his ass. I'm not going to lie. I think the biggest reason why th this is the case is because 2K makes everything too easy to attain nowadays. You don't have to grind for anything in 2K24 anymore. Everything can be bought. At least last year and in 2K22, which I would consider pretty mid-games, you somewhat felt accomplished when you got mascots because you had to at least grind to level 40. Words can describe how disappointed I was in 2K21 current gen when I saw backpacks got unlocked at level at Pro 2. Like, come on, bro. That literally just, just made them lose the feeling of, of like, oh, this nigga's tough. And the rewards for this year don't even get me started. Why in the fuck are we getting hairstyles for a, le a season re reward, mind you, that you have to spend money on? Come on, 2K. Please, where is that creative juices at, man? Y'all niggas was cooking from 2K16 and 2K20. Of course, minus 2K18. Y'all was cooking, bro. What happened? The way I see it, bro, I personally want seasons to just be over with altogether next year. But who am I, bro? I know damn well that probably is not going to happen. I think we can all agree the fact that the current badge system this year is very, very stupid. The fact that your badge can aggress if you don't use it in-game, that has to be the worst idea I've ever seen put into a basketball game, especially 2K. I definitely see the, see, see the vision. It was just ex executed very poorly. They tried to negate the stupidity of the badge system by adding floor setters, which pretty much keeps whatever badge you want at at, at least silver or gold. The issue with this, though, is that you can't sw switch, sw switch them. So if you already have one like in place, you can't put another one if you feel, feel like putting that on. I think that to me is the dumbest shit ever. This is definitely a smaller portion of my wishes, but yeah, man, I just want to get this off my chest. Now, this one was a pretty obvious point that I'm going to put on my wish list. There's no reason it costs over 100 bucks to get a build to a 99 overall. I definitely do understand why people hate the prices of VC this year. Here's my biggest thing though. Unless you plan, plan on boycotting 2K, which let's keep it to be, how many people do y'all know say, oh, I'm not buying 2K next year, and then they ask to end up buying it. So yeah, there's no point of complaining if you're if you're not going to boycott 2K. That's how, how I feel. Like you can complain all you want, but unless you're gonna actually do something to change, change it, bro. At that point, you're ju you're you're just bitching, bro. I'm not gonna, gonna, gonna lie. The reason the prices are so high is because of one inflation. That's just how life works, bro. Think things are going to become more expensive the like longer it's out. And two, 2K can get away with these prices because there's no other mainstream basketball game out there right now that people are feeding to play. Pretty much, 2K has no other competition in their way to actually force them to make a good game, and hasn't had any competition for a while. Now, hopefully, maybe, just maybe, with the release of NCAA 25 in a month, that shit might be tough, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, that, that will force 2K to be like, alright, like, now let's actually cook so niggas don't start playing that instead of our our, our game, but I, I highly doubt that, that, that that's gonna happen. Oh, by the way, 2K, I would appreciate if next year my player's nickname wasn't MP, which, if y'all don't know, stands for fucking MP. Like, how lazy can these niggas get, bro? Like, MP, come on now. 
Like, what happened to Prez or Frequency Vibrations, bro? Like, what happened to the good story modes in 2K? Now, granted, I might be one of the very few people who actually won a good story mode in my career. But, bro, like, let, let, like let's keep it a bean, bro. It just makes for a more fun game, bro. Like, I'm going to just be honest, bro. Like, I miss being emotional over, over my dumbass friend Vic Van, Van Leer dying in a car crash, bro. I miss being sad over De Denver 11's getting cut from the team in 2K17. Even though, bro, was a bucket for a low-key better than just, just as young, bro. Like... What happened to these creative story, story modes? Like now, when I'm playing 2K, Micro, it just feels like, a, it feels more of like an open world game, which 2K should never feel like that. The city to me, it needs to go. Like the city, it's too big. There's no reason why we have 55,000 different te uh, um, tr transportation options, bro. Come on now. If that's the case, bro, the game, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The city is too big. It, it needs to go. The quests need to stop. I, like they need to, to stop. What happened to grinding in game? What, what happened to... I, I don't know, like, j j just that micro swag that niggas used to have, bro. Like, I miss watching my nigga Chris Move, bro. Chris Move, Smash, Smash Montana play my career and, like, actually be invested in the story versus me just looking up, oh, b how to how to unlock this for a Like, bro, like, I don't know, bro. It might just be me, bro, but the shit just getting old, bro. Chef Owens last year, ass, bro. Absolute shit, ass. The nigga was a dick eater, bro. The nigga remind me of Cash Nasty, bro. And Cash Nasty been a dick eater for 10 years on, on LeBron, bro. That dedication for sure. But nah, let me stop, bro. But dead ass though, bro. Like, I just miss the creativity, the fun, bro. Like the story, the I I, I guess the storyline this year is you're just trying to, to be a goat. Like, I guess, but that's that itself is just lazy. Like, it's no kind of like depth. Like, you don't get connected to, to the characters, bro. Like, I don't know. I miss when my career used to be straight fucking cinema, man. And I know I'm still going on about my career, but bro, like, I just thought about this, bro. Like, what happened to us going through high school or college, man? The the com the combine actually getting drafted versus picking our teams, bro. It's not as funny if we get to pick our teams, bro. What what happened to us grinding to the draft and grinding to the start the starting spot, bro? Because I'm getting kind of sick of being in control of how many minutes I get as a my player. That's that should never be, bro. Like you should be able to, to just grind to that spot. But that's enough of me rambling about my career, man. On to my my, my last point. Honestly, dude, this 2K, to, to me, best gameplay 2K we've gotten on P PS5. I might sound dumb and so saying that, I don't care, man. I, I will die by that. This is the best gameplay we've gotten on P PS5 so far. It's just all of the other factors that go into the game make it just so unplayable, bro. Like, dead ass. Like, it's just not fun. So, if 2K can really, like, lock in and just fix and just tweak some minor shit that, that the fans want them to fix, bro... We chilling, bro. So that's that's my wishes, man. If, if y'all want a part two, let, let, let me know. Like I said, drop down below how y'all feel about th this 2K. I know it's mostly going to be negative, but oh well. Just drop down, down below, man. Let me know how you thinking. And yeah, man, I'm out, man. Peace.